So, how long have you been photographing for? I started when I was at art school and I was doing a BA in fine art and my second subject was photography. And it was only after I finished my, my degree that I started being really interested in photography. That would be in about 1972. And I gradually got into it. It was not something I'd ever anticipated doing. I just found myself instinctively interested by taking photographs to such an extent that I stopped painting after a while and found myself full-time taking pictures. So what was it about photography that allured you away from painting? I just, didn't, I just found it terribly exciting to photograph things or people that were totally unlike me and my background. I found that if I was suddenly confronted, for example, as I did at the beginning with a group of geriatrics living in a ward. I'd never seen anything like it at that time. It was a little bit grim in the early 70s. And I found myself interested in what their lives had been. These 90-year-olds who looked, you know, you could dismiss them. But I found I didn't dismiss them. I'd photograph them. I'd go home, I'd process the film, and I'd look at their faces in the darkroom, and it just excited me, and I wanted to do more. And I found myself asking if I could spend the night in the ward with them, so that I could photograph them during the night, getting up. All their sort of old people, little lives in this ward in, um, in, in London. And how did you get into photography for journals and magazines? Well, I followed... I followed this route of just photographing things that interested me and I got together a, a group of pictures and I called them my boxes, nuns and Catholics. And I'd spent about two years photographing the boxes and about a year doing the Catholics and nuns. And I had a set of pictures and I went off to see a friend of mine who sadly was dying of cancer in Canada. and. I took my pictures to show her. She was always interested in my work. And when I was there, she said, well, why don't you just go and see them? These are beautiful pictures. Why don't you show them to someone? And so I was sent off to go and see this gallery down in Toronto. And I showed them the pictures and they loved them. And they said, we're moving to a new gallery and we'd like to use your pictures as a one woman show to open our new gallery. And I went back home and I got a grant. I went back to Canada and I had the exhibition and it was, a, it was a huge success, much to my amazement. And the person who, the arts um, journalist who reviewed it for the Toronto Globe and Mail was actually going off to Italy to do a series on the Italian avant-garde. And she went into the editor and said, look, I'm going to do this, as you know, next month. I want Sue Adler to be my photographer. And they agreed, much to my amazement. And that was the beginning of it all. And suddenly, for the first time in my life, I realised that well, this was something that I could actually do as a living. Because I started, I, when I was with her, we were there for a month, and I started off, the first job was Alberto Moravia, the Italian writer. And then we went to Cine Cite and uh, photographed Fellini, Marcello Mastroni, who was the lead role in um, Fellini's City of Women. And then we went to see um, Ennio Morricone, who did the uh, music for Sergio Leone films, the spaghetti westerns. And I started suddenly meeting all these extraordinary people. And I could be a fly on the wall. I didn't have to, I didn't have to be clever or anything. I just had to get really interesting pe pictures out of these people. And I came back from um, the Italian trip and I thought, right, that's it. I went to see all the magazines and newspaper. I was, I was an avid reader of The Observer at the time. And I went to see them and I took my portfolio of these pictures and they started slowly to give me work. And I discovered a great love in for telling stories through pictures. I was actually sort of very shy in earlier life, and this was a way of being shy 
but it was okay because I could sort of hide behind my camera in all sorts of different situations and I could um, look at other people's worlds and come away with pictures that excited me and hopefully other people. And it was a, a, a sort of way of being that I'd never anticipated I could ever, you know, be involved in. And that I finally started working uh, for, you know, full time, really, um, from about 1980. And I've never stopped. Um, but I still have as much enjoyment out of taking pictures. I mean, the subjects now are different because over that period of time, um, I became known as an arts photographer, a documentary photographer. I worked for English National Opera for 15 years, so I did a lot of their productions, which is the most, I have to say, the most beautiful way to earn your living, is standing in the auditorium, listening to this wonderful music, and actually trying to get an image that sums it up for people who don't have the opportunity to go to these events. And I do see that as my role, um, that I go to places, and I've worked over that period, I've worked in about 29 different countries, and I come back with images so that people can see events that they might never have heard of or seen, um, and I'm presenting images for them to enjoy. People often ask me um, what it is I'm looking, what do I look for when I take a picture? And I have to answer, and I've learned this myself over, over the 35 years I've been doing this, is that I'm actually looking for the essence of the event or the person. It doesn't matter if it's something very glamorous, if it's something very crowded, if it's a man in an office, if it's somebody who's been abused, if it's somebody who's disfigured, if it's somebody beautiful or famous or very much at the opposite end of the social spectrum. It's the same thing every time. I'm looking for the essence of that situation or that person. And it's a challenge every time. And I know when I come away from that um, session with the event or the person, whether I've got it or I haven't. I know it immediately I've got it, and I know it immediately if I haven't. You have to be very concentrated, I have to be very concentrated to actually achieve the sort of pictures that I think are worthy of my work.